All right, hail everybody. Welcome to Midgard Musings. Thanks so much for watching today's video, which is a special uh, review for Norseblood.com's products. Um, I've actually gotten the uh, distinct honor of being able to work with Norseblood.com and reviewing their uh, two-month uh, sort of uh, scheduled crates that they send out to their subscribers and, and people that you know join up for their things. So I'm really, really excited to check out January's crate, which we'll be getting into in just a moment. If you're new to the channel, first of all, thank you for watching. My name's Jesse, and I host a weekly video here wherein I discuss various Norse heathenry-related topics. Um, check out the description below for the ways that you can support Midgard Musings on Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Um, and follow me in any way you can. Subscribe to the channel, share the videos around, comment what you think, let me know. Uh, there's a lot of cool content that I try to upload and hopefully get a lot of positive feedback on. Love to hear what you guys think. Uh, but today's video, again, is dedicated to all the folks at Norseblood, uh, norseblood.com. Details for them are going to be down in the description as well. Um, I have reviewed one of their crates before, which if you check the annotated card that's going to be up here in the top right corner of the video, that'll be the last uh, review that I did. Today's video is going to be the January crate. Okay, all the crates, uh, at least of this size, come in the box, just like I'm showing you right now. It's kind of a glossy cardboard box. Usually contains about five items or so. Um, January's box is really cool. I've already taken a look at it, just to kind of see what I was getting into. But I'm excited to show you guys what we've got today. So the first item that I would like to uh, focus on is... First of all, they come with these, these cool pamphlets that gives you their contact information. Um, it's, it tells you that, it, you know, January uh, crate uh, for 2019, it tells you everything. It tells you all the kinds of stuff that are in the crate. All the details of those items are in the pamphlets that come. So there's that. Um, first really cool item that I want to kind of focus on is this ring. It's a, a finger ring. It's, and, and the jewelry that they're sending, guys, is stainless steel. Um, so if you have any allergies or if there's any sort of reactions that you may have uh, to jewelry, uh, keep that in mind. But it is stainless steel, so it's not going to stain you. It's not poor quality metal. Um, I'm not sure how good the camera is going to pick up on this, but I'm going to do my best with what I've got. It's a Hugen and Munin, the Raven, uh, Odin's Ravens uh, finger ring. Um, I don't have very big fingers, but uh, in, in kind of a comparison uh, thing, uh, that is on my pinky and it's kind of loose. Um, my ring fingers are about a 9 or I think they're about a 10, uh, United States, US size 10. Um, so my, my pinky is going to be a little bit less. So this pro is probably somewhere around a 9. Like I said, it's, it is stainless steel. There's not a whole lot of room for, for bending or, or, you know adjusting in any way um so if you if you subscribe to the the january crate and you get the ring and it's an you know it, it may be too small or too big depending on your ring size finger size whatever um but it is stainless steel and it's in its quality you know it's, it's not going to stain or it's not going to tarnish or, or get damaged uh the next piece of jewelry that they sent us this this time is this really cool battle axe uh pendant which again is stainless steel. All right, uh, kind of the same on the back side, uh, but it does come with a chain. It's about an 18 inch long chain, I would say. Not exactly sure, 100 um, percent. But you've got a really nice quality necklace if uh, if you're into, you know, that sort of uh, that sort of jewelry, kind of show you guys a little bit of the details of it okay and again it's stainless steel so it's not going to tarnish in the shower if you if this is something you like you want to gift it to somebody whatever um it's not going to tarnish or or, or 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 damage in any way um next really cool thing uh that this is probably one of my favoriteest items in the crate this is item number three this is a bracelet all right a leather bracelet with a Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, um, solid too, guys. It is, it is no joke. Um, 
trying to get good here we go trying to get good lighting on it gonna show you you can tell the thickness of it though like it is a solid piece of jewelry and then I don't know if you can tell a little bit here too on the on the bands around the leather um, there is the elder food art runes that kind of go around this band on the upper and lower portions of this bracelet um, the clasp is a little bit tricky um, you kind of have to slide uh, I guess it, 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 it like it, it slides down and then clasps over or something I have yet to really get, get get comfortable with it oh here it is there's a little hole in the top of it which you can see right here and then this little clasp as you can see, it kind of goes down over and then clasps tight, shut. So there it is. It's not too difficult. It's not too hard. But for a one-handed, you know, if you're not used to putting bracelets on like that, it may just be a little bit difficult. But the quality of this, guys, if you could feel the weight of this, you'd be impressed. So this is one of my most, you know, favorite items out of the crate. That's item number th uh, three. Um, item number four it dropped actually this is really cool if you guys travel internationally and need to keep your passport in here you go Asgard Kingdom of Asgard passport there's actually nothing in it but there are some cool little uh, compartments and things that you can keep your various items stored in and uh, it is you know pretty solid construction uh, I don't know if it's cardboard in there but it's it's, it's got a bit of a padding to it you know um, has a kind of a leather smell. It's a dark, dark color, blackish, uh, blackish, dark blue, whatever. This is pretty cool. It's kind of fun. You can stick whatever you want in here. But if you're traveling and you want to stick your passport in there, it's kind of neat. All right, and then the last item is again uh, out of the, the the bracelet's probably my most favorite item. Uh, but this one here ranks right up there. Is a uh, bison blowing horn. All right, it's about maybe seven or so inches in uh, length, six or seven inches in length. Um, it is green, as you can see, green and black from the lighting uh, in color with this metal piece at the end of it, and it's hollow. So it's not for, you know, drinking, it's, it's for blowing. And if you guys will excuse me for just a moment, I'm going to try to present an example of what this could possibly sound like. Now, as a disclaimer, I have not blown a horn before except just to test to see how it sounds or what it work, you know, how it works, how you do it. Um, there's probably going to be some people that watch this that have blown horns much bigger than this and that have produced a much better sound. I am not a, by any means trying to present myself as a expert horn blower. Um, but anyways, here's, it, it is a bison horn according to the, to the pamphlet. And uh, let's see how it sounds. All right, that was horrible, and I'm sorry for that assault on your ears. But there you go. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It's just a mouthpiece. You kind of whatever you figure it out you get it you figure it out you'll probably be better at it than I was again sorry for the assault on yours but there you go guys all those five items for the January uh, Norseblood.com uh, Norse crate um, overall I think it's a great crate I did review uh, I think it was November's crate you guys watched the video or, or, or saw the, the annotated card before I thought it was really kind of fun and uh, I think January's crate is way way better than before um, and from what I've heard the future crates are going to be even better so if you haven't already become a part of the Norse Blood crate subscription service and if you like what you saw today and you're looking forward to more things bigger things better things that come in the future go down into the description of the video check out norseblood.com subscribe to their services check them out on Facebook follow them uh, in any of their social medias that you can um, I definitely appreciate the opportunity that Norseblood has given me to review the product. Thank you guys so much for sending it in. Uh, I, I definitely recommend it. This is a really cool crate. Uh, the jewelry is quality. 
Um, you've got, you know, stainless steel, you've got actual leather, you've got a real bison horn. Real fun stuff, guys. Stuff that you can play around with and enjoy, uh, gift as gifts, whatever. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Go down to the description, check out norseblood.com. And if you haven't already, please become a subscriber right up here to Midgard Musings on YouTube. Go down in the description, become a follower on Facebook, Instagram, any way that you can possibly support this channel and this project that I'm doing, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned. Once every week on Sundays I upload new content. Click the bell for notifications so that you never miss anything that I upload. And I will see you all again in next week's video. Or this week's video. Or whenever the next video that I upload. I'll see you guys around. Hail and thank you very much.